Welcome back to Summit Racing Quick Flicks. Today we're going to talk about the differences between coated headers and painted headers. In our last header video we had a question about ceramic coated headers and what the benefits were with a set of ceramic coated headers in comparison to a set of painted headers. Uh, so today we're going to try to help you make a decision on what's right for your vehicle. Uh, most of us, when you look at purchasing a set of headers, we're, we're purchasing them to improve the performance of our vehicle uh, first and foremost. But the other thing we got to look at a lot of times with everything that we buy is cost. Uh, most of us are probably going to lean more towards the painted header just due to the fact that a, a painted header will probably run around $100 to $150 less than that of its ceramic coated equivalent. There's nothing wrong with painted headers. Painted headers work great, uh, they'll perform great, and they'll actually perform right along the lines of a ceramic coated header. Um, the, the only downfall to them is, is appearance and, and durability. Uh, that painted coating that comes on those headers out of the box, uh, you'll notice that when you put those headers on your vehicle, right out the gate, as soon as you start that engine, it'll burn right off. The headers almost actually, probably actually turn like ashy white in, in a sense. Um, that makes them very susceptible to moisture over time, and they're probably not going to be as durable as your ceramic coated um, equivalent due to that. There's a way to make these durable though, and there's a way to make that coating last and make them look good for, for, for a long time as well. What I'll typically do if I buy a set of painted headers is I'll go ahead and take them out of the box, get them sandblasted. What the sandblasting does is it actually makes the, the, uh, um, the surface porous so it, it will actually absorb paint and let the paint adhere to it much better than it does in its natural state. Um, then I'll go ahead and buy like a can of our flame proof coating that VHT makes or, or a high temperature paint that's designed to withstand heats of around 1200, 1500 degrees and put a couple coats of that on there. What that typically does is it will go ahead and adhere to that header then and, and make them much more durable and actually make them look good for a much longer time. They'll actually remain black or whatever color you decide to paint them for the life of the header from that point on. Um, but there are some serious benefits to going with the ceramic coated header over the painted header in general. Uh, for starters, the ceramic coating finish is extremely durable in comparison to whatever type of painting coating that you're going to go ahead and put on a header. Meaning that if these things get hit by rocks or, or any type of debris, um, they're not going to go ahead and rust. It's just going to kind of deflect that, that, that debris that may have hit it to try to damage it or, or whatever may have happened. The other thing is they're going to look great for the life of the header. Uh, they're, they're, the appearance of them is going to remain the same as they did when they came out of the box. Uh, they're, they're, they're not going to dull or anything like that as long as they have a good coating on them. Um, and, and, and thirdly, what they're going to do is that they actually have a, a performance feature as well that, that a painted header does not have. Meaning that they go ahead and keep heat down in the engine compartment and also keep that heat retained inside the pipes of the header. Anytime that we go ahead and retain the, the heat in the pipe of the header, what that does is it improves the efficiency of the exhaust system. An exhaust system typically becomes inefficient the, more, the minute that it starts to cool down from the, the point in which the exhaust is being produced, which is right at the head. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to increase the heat uh, throughout that header as much as possible. The minute in which it starts to go ahead and cool down is when that exhaust becomes inefficient. Well, a he regular header that's painted is going to dissipate that heat much more quickly than a ceramic coated header. Therefore, a ceramic coated header is typically going to make a little more horsepower than the painted equivalent due to the fact that it scavenged better. Meaning that because of that, because of that heat process, because of the fact that it holds in the heat for so much longer of a period, um, they're, they're typically going to go ahead and let the exhaust flow at a much more efficient rate. You know, that's basically it between the two for the most part as far as what the, what the differences are. Uh, and it's just a matter of, of you deciding what's best for your vehicle application. In most cases, I think most of us are going to be more concerned about the appearance than anything. And if we have a show vehicle, we're probably going to lean more towards the ceramic coated header in comparison to the painted header. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com backslash summit racing. Or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com backslash summit racing equipment.